Hi guys, I had a question from a student. How do I format APA in a Word document? So I thought I would run through it quickly. Of course, A, I am very much more familiar with MLA than APA, and B, I like to manually format everything in Word. However, there is a template, so I thought I would show you how to go through that template today. Of course, your best friend is going to be a writer's reference right here. Okay, I keep that open, so always refer to it. It does have sample pages or a sample APA research paper starting on page 483. This is valuable information, so just keep this open as you're going through the format. Okay, so first I'm going to go up to my file, which is at the top of my page. You can't see it, but I'll hit File and then New from Template, and then I can pick APA. So it formats everything for me. Notice it gives me the different running head on the first page than the subsequent pages, which is what I want. So I'm going to double click on the heading and I'm going to type in my title. Sorry, Noli is talking to me now. One of the perks of working from home. Now I'm going to come down here and put my title again. What, honey? I don't know where any is. She's asking for wrapping paper. Apparently we're having Christmas in April. Okay. And then I'm going to put my the author's name, which is your name, whoever's writing the essay. So it's going to be Leah C. Fountain. I'm going to include my institution affiliation, which is Calhoun Community College. And then I'm going to come down to the author's note. And again, the correct way to put this in will be in a writer's reference, page 483. This paper was prepared for Education 107. Oh, no, that's, that's the example of it. Uh, composition or 101, taught by Leah Fountain. Okay. So then I'll come down here. I do not need the table of contents, so I just I can click on it and come up to this box and remove the table of contents. So I'll go straight to my abstract. This is part of it. I think you do this at the very end of our process since we're breaking it down. Um, but the abstract is a summary of your essay. So you'll just give a short summary and then keywords here. And then you'll start in the body of your essay. Notice it already gives the title. And then it has headings for every other paragraph. So heading one, this will be review of the literature. Remember that second paragraph in your essay will be a short summary of the three sources that you're using. And then each heading for this, we don't really have subheadings. So each heading is going to be centered just like this first one. Um, and then this will be you know your next next will be your three body paragraphs and you can organize those based on sort of the subtopics for each article that we went over i think one was like defining self in a digital age center that just like the other one and then this one would be what was the other one uh ah, see i don't know how to do templates okay this one would be uh, online communities. I'm going to center that. And then this last one will be internet addiction. Go ahead and center that. That is not centered. Try again. Okay, well, okay, I guess that's better. So that will be your three body paragraphs. And then the last heading will be your conclusion. So we need to make sure it's bolded. Just This is just showing you how to do subheadings, but we don't have any of those. So let's center that. So those will be your, again, that is not centered. See, this is why I don't like templates. Okay, so these are all your headings. So you have the intro, which does not have a heading. It just has a title. The view of literature, which is the summary of your three articles. And then 
your body paragraphs, if you break it down into subtopics, and then your conclusion paragraph. So each paragraph, you will start with a topic sentence, a topic sentence that will have something to do with the heading of each section. So I can put several experts um, discuss how individuals in today's society are defining themselves or creating their personas based on expectations found online and through social media, period. So that, I mean, not the best. This needs to be indented just like a regular paragraph too. And then I'm going to incorporate one of my sources. So each body paragraph, topic sentence, and then information from two sources. So in this paragraph, I might use Sherry Turkle and Powers. And then I'll give my opinion at the end there. My opinion in first person, of course. So Sherry Turkle is on... I thought I had it turned to the page. Where are you, Turkle? Okay. So she's on page 578. Okay. So I might say Sherry Turkle. And in APA, I put the year that her article was written right after her name. States that... And I'm going to pull this from paragraph 4 on 579. Today's adolescence, um, I'm just going to put an ellipses here, need time to discover themselves, comma, time to think. And then I'll put my, uh, sorry, quotations, and then in parentheses, I'll put the page number I found it on, and then a period. And then I will give my analysis here and then I'll move on to the next author that I'm going to use following that same format so that's the body and conclusion and then your reference page is here and I'm going to give you the model for a selection in an anthology Our, all articles should be cited as selections in anthologies this can be found on page 470 in a writer's reference so let me just put the model here it'll be last name first name middle name followed by the year and then you will have title selection and then edited by no wait sorry in names of editors and that's going to be names of well, it's not in parentheses. Okay, first, last, and then you'll have PD in parentheses, comma, and then you will have the title of the anthology, and then. Wait, wait. Yeah. Okay, page numbers, period, and then place of publication and publisher. So that's the format for um, a selection in an anthology. So let's just go ahead and do Sherry Turkle. So I'm going to put Turkle. She doesn't have a middle initial in the book, so I'm not going to give it, 2011 period, title of selection, growing up tethered, notice only the first word is capitalized in APA, uh, in, and then the editors are Stuart Green and April Ladinsky, editors, title is from inquiry to academic writing the pages of the selection are 578 through is it 589 maybe no let's see yes yeah, let's see five oh no 592 592 
And then place of publication, you can put either Boston or New York. And then the publisher is Bedford St. Martin. I think that's how that's going to thing. Bedford St. Martin. And that's it. And then I just make sure that I'm going to tab over here for the proper format. I can't just tab because word is funny. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to hit enter and then tab over. And that will give me my correct format on the reference page. All right. Let me know if you have any further questions. Talk to you soon. Bye.